Hey guys and girls, how are we all doing? It's I am the Scottish truck driver, or Jordan if you prefer. So I'm going to struggle with a video this week, generally for the fact of that the microphone that I bought upon your all request to fix my audio, I didn't realise the flaw of it, which is that the dead cat on the microphone itself is that big that it bounces up and down and if I was to do like this, you'll probably see it now in the top of the shot. So, uh, thanks to Didi who gave me a solution of extending the piece where it mounts to and sent me a link. So I now have that piece coming which will make it about that bit bigger. So that way I can vlog um, in the truck and because the trucks that I drive are generally old and rattly. Um, yeah, you, this thing just kept bouncing all over the shot. Um, and when I took it off you can't hear anything. It needs to have that on it. So... That's why there's not going to be much footage this week, because I was not going to put a video with that flopping about for three quarters of it. So, if you do hear a uh, bing in the background, uh, it is my laptop. I am working on a project with a company at the moment, um, which hopefully you guys will see very soon. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Anyway, I've been recognized not just because of the Scottish truck driver um I also get mm, I would say about a message a week asking was I that dude in the paper so I'm going to explain the story of how I ended up in the paper and how I kind of went semi-ish viral in Scotland so to start with I've always been a charitable person and I got that from um, from my mum. She uh, was a very uh, caring and giving person until her multiple sclerosis took over and ever since the age of I would say 14 I was her full time carer um, along with my dad and I think that's where my sort of caring side comes from and charitable side. So I used to run a company called JN Couriers based in Edinburgh and this is the first time that I managed to get myself in the papers. The <laughs> company was doing well, I had a couple of vans, a couple of drivers, um, started off as just a local Edinburgh company and sort of went more UK wide and yeah business was booming. I only had myself and my uh, parents mom and dad who at this point were separated and we we'd had a really good year the lads got their christmas bonuses you know well what was coming up to christmas is they so i'd already kind of set an allowance to you know like oh you know here's the here's your bonus here's um a night night site money etc anyway that's besides the point so I decided one year because I was single and didn't really want, didn't see, my parents never really asked for much nor needed much. So instead of spending hundreds of pounds on unnecessary stuff for them, I decided it would be a good idea to give back for all the people that were shouting me out on Facebook, that were tagging me in posts etc um, for my business. So the first time I got into the paper was because we decided to do a Christmas appeal where we set an allowance per child. I can't remember the top of my head what it was. I think it was about 50 quid, 60 quid. And for parents to give us a message if they were struck, know that they were going to be struggling this Christmas. As long as they were sort of vetted to make sure that they were actually genuine, which because you won't believe how many ungenuine people there are in this world, we went out where they asked their, their kids, you know, what they wanted for Christmas, and we went out and bought as many Christmas presents as we could for that sixty pound. Um, obviously there was kids where there was a little bit more, some kids wanted less, etc. But it was round about that figure. Um, you know, small stuff that. You know, if the parents could buy like one main gift, um, you know, that was a real struggle for them to get, this was the the be sort of the smaller stuff that would sort of fill up their, their Christmas. Anyway, so we 
managed to cater for I would say about 80 people 80 kids and a couple of days before Christmas we got Father Father Christmas aka me I'll try and insert a picture somewhere now of how I went out and with the support of some of my staff we went and delivered Christmas presents to kids that were essentially struggling I think that post got something stupid like I think it was like five, at the time a couple of years ago I wish I had the original post but unfortunately the Facebook page was deleted so I think that kind of had like between five and seven thousand shares on Facebook and um, umpteen amount of comments etc but that was my first step into giving back as I said I've always been charitable um, from a young age um, uh, like when I worked at Pizza Hut when I was 17 and you know instead of seeing the rejected pizzas going out at night in the bucket I used to take them put them in the back of my car and drive around Edinburgh City Centre looking for homeless people to give the pizzas to yeah they were a little bit cold but it was free food for them when they maybe hadn't had a meal in god knows how long and that brings me on to my second point so I'll try and put the post to snow somewhere to the right of me so you guys can you guys can read it and um whilst I'm I'm talking so that way if I do mugger up see I'm already doing it if I do bugger up my words you can at least um read it yourselves rather than uh oh I really don't like the way that Facebook if you touch it once it, it just wants to um just wants to cancel itself so I put up a post I want to find out the 3rd of January I put up a post so a little ba bit back around to the situation I have been on the verge of being homeless myself um, after me and my ex-fiance sort of split up um, I didn't really have anywhere to go so I decided that well, I luckily had a bit of money saved up, so I got actually the place that I'm in now, and the place that this post refers to. So I'll put this post somewhere round about this section, or, or a screenshot of it. I'll have to take my name out, obviously. Um, but uh, so it reads. So I've been debating posting this for a while, but decided to finally do it. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a very charitable person with a big heart so I've decided to put both my spare rooms up for rent completely free. So if you're reading this and don't mind sharing it I would be honoured. I know there's a lot of struggling people out there possibly facing homelessness, the subject of domestic abuse or financial hardship. So I have two rooms that I'm willing to give away rent and bill free for people to get back on their feet. The house is in Broxburn and I do have pets but given my history working with many with many companies and agencies, I can provide contacts for employments and can help with transportation if needed. A warm home to start again, 2020, the year to give back. Thank you, and if you're interested, drop me a message and we can take it from there. So that post got 12.6 thousand shares. Um, as I said, I've been on the verge of being homeless myself. I have some very very strong friends who have been also the subject to domestic abuse um, to the point that you get that phone call late at night and this has happened is there any way you can come and get me I need to get out of here um, you know on the phone to the police saying that they're scared that they don't want to be in their own house so it was just something that kind of sparked in me to go well you know what I'm going to try and give back um, Financial hardship as well. I'm sure we've all been there at some point where we've maybe overspent or, you know, say uh, a divorce and you've got no money left. I, I can't really remember what I was thinking at the time in the financial hardship part, but it, it was something at least that, you know, wasn't done for publicity. Nothing I ever do is for publicity. If I wanted publicity, there's easier ways to go about it than doing this. This was just generally for the fact of that I was working for a really great company at the time, um, which is a recovery company based in Earth, uh, E. Burgoynes and Sons. And I had 
money coming in. I had these two rooms here. I used to rent them out through Airbnb and I just wasn't comfortable with the fact of that I had to keep my house completely spotless all the time. That I had to, you know, have someone here constantly for keys, etc. The fear of stuff getting stolen, you know, someone being maybe a bit mean to my cats, etc. You know, it's just the way that it sort of went. I just didn't, and Airbnb just didn't quite fit in. So, uh, this was kind of the next best thing that I could think of that would give me you know, a sense of personal satisfaction as well as helping other people out. Now I'm pleased to report I did have two people staying with me, but unfortunately, due to circumstances, they ended up having to leave. Um, so at the moment, one room is being taken by a very good friend of mine, and the other one is there needing uh, a bit of TLC. But that's how I ended up in the paper for the second time, because of this post. I think there was the post from... Um, is it the West Lovian? Uh, West no, yeah, some a a, a page on West Lovian that, or a newspaper in West Lovian that that shared it, and then I think the Edinburgh Evening News also shared it as well. So. Yeah, um, as I said, it was just my way of giving back, and this was the best thing that I could do and I keep getting messages saying where do I know your face from this will be from it um, so yeah I do I do have a soft and tender side at some point <laughs> it might not seem on camera but um, yeah this was something that was a great personal satisfaction to me to do and I would do it again I would just advise that anybody that is going to do it to vet who you have coming to stay with you first if you can maybe try and meet them first um, and get a little bit of background information I don't know if you can do a criminal background check on someone um, but yeah I just thought I would share this to my channel it's something a little bit different something that you know it's just it's not just the HGV vlogs on my on my channel and as I said I keep getting messages over and over again how do I know you or where do I know your face from and this will be it so just want to thank you everyone for watching through the last 13 and a half minutes or whatever the length of this video is going to be. Um, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. There's HGV content, car, bike, and the occasional sort of random bits here and there that sort of break everything up like this. Um, drop a comment if you can, and uh, smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. But from me, take care. I hope everyone's safe during this uh, this fa pandemic that we've gone at the moment and uh, hope we're all supporting each other. Cheers guys.